After the Bell, presented by Nathaniel Lee, attorney at law. All right, let's go ahead and go After the Bell with Brian Martin, mm -hmm. live from Los Angeles. That's right, Brian. 261,000 jobs were added in October. Yeah, Phil, Alexis, good evening. That is more than economists estimated. It just shows really how strong the labor market remains during this time of high inflation and record corporate profits. The unemployment rate went up from 3.5 to 3.7 percent. More people lost jobs and the size of the labor market shrank a bit. But this is one of those, as we've talked about, good news is once again bad news because the Federal Reserve thinks the labor market's out of balance. Still too strong, too many job openings not enough people to fill those jobs. That means what investors say, the Fed just keeps raising rates for longer, and that word recession remains in play. On the markets today, a positive finish to the week, with the Dow gaining 401 points. Elon Musk says Twitter has suffered a massive drop in revenue because advertisers are pausing their ads. He blames activist groups who he says have pressured advertisers. Also, five employees are now suing Twitter, saying it violated state and federal laws by not giving enough notice about today's mass layoffs. Well, you know, they say you got to be in it to win it, right? Tomorrow night's Powerball drawing. Get this, now $1.6 billion. That is the largest lottery prize in U.S. history. The upfront cash option is a whopping $782 million pre-tax. You take away about $300 million or so in taxes, you're still left with ridiculous money. And we always have to talk about those chances of winning. One in $292 million. Reporting live, I'm Brian Martin, mm -hmm. Phil and Alexis. Back to you. Uh, you can't help to dream. Okay, so Brian, I know we talked about yesterday about holiday spending, but what about travel? Travel. Americans are returning to the skies. They're filling hotels and, you know, they're willing to actually spend what they have to make that happen. While retailers are kind of looking at their inventory, wondering how to clear it all out, many consumers say they'd rather have experiences. Airlines are doing really well. Hotels are absolutely thriving. There's double digit attendance growth at arenas and stadiums. People are even paying extra for pricey drinks like Phil's pumpkin spice latte. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know him uh -huh. well. Uh -huh. You're starting to get to know me, Brian. Good stuff. Uh, I'm starting you. to. <laughs> Have a good All weekend, right. sir.